Hello and happy Monday. It is time for Mindfulness Monday with me, Nina Soden, the redheaded author. And today I want to talk about seven tips to bringing mindfulness into your daily life. Okay, here's today's mindfulness tip. Becoming more mindful of how you proceed throughout your day-to-day -day activities is the antidote to feeling like you are running in circles, like you are stuck. Think of it this way. It is so easy to just go through life on autopilot. So many of us do. We procrastinate, we fail to get things done on time. We don't get enough sleep, we don't exercise enough. So when you become more mindful in your daily life, it's about being more present and more aware of your behavior in the moment, in the here and now. Mindfulness helps you to change the habits, like procrastination, that are no longer serving you. Those habits that are harming you rather than helping. So here are seven tips to bringing mindfulness into your daily life. And the first one I have talked about before, it is meditation. Taking just five minutes a day to sit quietly and focus on your breathing can help you feel more conscious and connected throughout the rest of your day. All right, number two is to focus on one thing at a time. So many of us try to multitask, but studies show that tasks take 50% longer with 50% more errors when we multitask. Nobody can multitask effectively. So consider focusing on one task at a time with breaks in between tasks whenever possible. All right, number three is to slow down. Enjoy the process, no matter what you are doing. Deliberately and thoughtfully go through each task. Go through your day with intention. Now these could be actions at work like putting together a project or writing a report. This could be something at home like washing the dishes or doing the laundry or even drinking your morning coffee. If you can focus on each activity that you do and give your full attention to each activity that you do, you are going to help promote healthy focus and stop yourself from, keep, from getting overwhelmed by the things that you have to do in your daily. Okay, number four is eating mindfully. Eating without the distraction of television or a computer or a tablet or a smartphone in front of you allows you to truly taste what you are eating and to enjoy what you are eating. So eating mindfully is good, not only for your focus, but also for your mind and body as well. All right, number five is to keep your phone and computer screen time to a minimum, or at least keep them in check. It is so easy in today's world to be connected. We have technology that allows us to be connected and have information at our fingertips at any given moment but you need to set limits. You need to set boundaries, not only for your children, but for yourself as well, in order to reduce that screen time. All right, number six is to move. It is important that throughout the day, you allow your body to move. Your body needs it. Your mind needs it. So whether it is going outside and taking a walk, or just stretching at your desk, or just standing up and getting away from your desk for a couple of minutes, make sure that every hour to two hours you are getting up, standing up, and moving away from your work to take a mental break. This does not have to be a long time. It can be the amount of time it takes you to walk away, grab a glass of water, and come back. All right, number seven, and the final one, is to spend time in nature take a walk through the park or the woods or a mountain or my personal favorite by the beach whatever it is get outside with the fresh air and take a walk or sit on the grass and just enjoy nature 
whenever and wherever you can. Getting outdoors is good for your body, your mind, and your spirit. And it keeps you present in the moment. All right, that is seven tips for bringing mindfulness into your daily life. Now I wanna talk about the mindfulness exercise for today. And today's mindfulness exercise is a mindfulness nature walk. So a mindfulness nature walk. It's pretty simple and I bet you can guess what it is. So if you don't have the ability to go outside in nature, that's okay. You can do this exercise anywhere you are, even indoors, but there are added benefits when you are outside. Okay, step one, it doesn't matter where you are, just start walking. There is great benefits when you don't know exactly where you're going to go, so that's always fun. All right, step number two, as you walk, I want you to pay attention to your breathing. How does the air feel as it enters your body? How does the air feel as it exits your body? Pay attention to other parts of your body as well and how your body feels as you breathe in and out, what parts of your body are moving and what parts don't move. Spend just a few minutes focusing on the full experience of breathing. All right, step number three is to focus on the rest of your body. How do your feet feel as they touch the ground? Are you wearing shoes? How do your feet feel in your shoes? How do they feel as they press into the grass? Or are you walking on concrete? Are you walking on hardwood floors? How does that feel? How do your arms feel as they sway back and forth? How do your legs feel? Are they tense or are they loose? Notice all of the physical sensations as you walk. All right, number four is what do you hear? Focus on all the sounds around you. Now, if you are in nature, you might be hearing birds or dogs barking in the distance. Maybe it's the sound of crunching leaves underneath your feet or your shoes clacking against the sidewalk. What sounds are you hearing and how do they make you feel? All right, step five is what do you see? Now, yes, you should be watching all around you as you go, but your focus can be inward until this point. Notice the images around you, the colors, the textures of things in front of you, to your sides and above you and below you. Notice everything. Don't search for anything, but be aware of everything and notice everything around you that comes into view. All right, step six, the final step, is as you complete your walk, I want you to shift your attention from one sensation to another and take in every experience in your internal and your external environment. But most importantly, breathe. Nice, slow, deep breaths as you allow your body to relax into your, nat your natural movement of walking. Don't focus on how am I walking, how am I stepping, how am I swinging my arms. Just focus on the feel of it, the breathing through it, and what's around you. And that is being mindful in your nature walk. All right, mindfulness journaling. We always do this. So after you complete your mindfulness nature walk, I want you to take just five minutes sitting in a nice, comfortable, quiet place with pen and paper, not technology. Don't use a laptop. Don't use a phone. Don't use a tablet. Just a pen and paper. And I want you to write down all of the sensations that you can recall from your nature walk. How did you feel during both the walk and how do you feel now that your nature walk is over? Write down everything you can think of. All right, that is Mindfulness Monday for today. How to bring mindfulness into your daily life. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please click like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell below so that you are notified every time I post a video. Until next time, stay mindful.